ಸ್ವಪ್ರಕಾಶಂ ವ್ಯಾಪಕ ನಾಮ ಅಧಿಷ್ಠಾನ ಬುಧ್ಯಬೋಧ್ಯ ಬುಧೇರ್ದೃಗ್ಯತ್ತು ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಅಪಾರಂ ಸರ್ವೇದೇದ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ ಪರಂ ಮಹ ತದೇವಾಹಂ ನ ಮತ್ತೋನ್ಯದಿತಿ ಮೇ ನಿಶ್ಚಿತ ಮತಿ ವಿಚಾರ ಸಾಗರ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಪೇಜ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಲೈನ್ ತೃತ್ಯಾಮರೂಢ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಸುಖದುಖಾದೀನ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಯತಿ ಅತಃ ಸುಖದುಖಾದಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಮಿತ್ಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ನಿಶ್ಚಲದಾಸ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಂಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಂ ದ್ವಾರ ಒನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವೆರಿ ಫೈನ್ discrimination he does regarding this direct knowledge pratyaksha gnanam and indirect knowledge paroksha gnanam after talking about this two classifications of gnanam that is pratyaksham and paroksham any of our knowledge whatever we get either it has to be direct knowledge or it has to be indirect knowledge the definition of direct knowledge is that when the sense organs and sense objects come in contact and the knowledge rise in our mind is called pratyaksha gnanam or direct knowledge direct knowledge is that when the sense organs and sense objects come in contact when they come in contact association the knowledge arises in our mind that is called pratyaksha gnanam then what is paroksha gnanam indirect knowledge indirect knowledge is quite opposite to pratyaksha gnanam indirect knowledge is that when the sense organs and sense objects does not come in contact and the knowledge arises that is called paroksha gnanam when the sense organs are not in contact with sense objects whatever knowledge arises without the contact it is called paroksha gnanam having given this definition of pratyaksha gnanam and paroksha gnanam then nischala dasa divided this pratyaksha gnanam is of three types this direct knowledge is classified into ಐಂದ್ರಿಯಕ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಜನ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಜನ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಶಾಬ್ದಜನ್ಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಬ್ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಐಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ದ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜನರೇಟೆಡ್ through the witness consciousness principle 
the witness consciousness principle when the knowledge rise in that it is called sakshi pratyaksham sakshi bhasya pratyaksham jnanam having done this three divisions of sakshi pratyaksham shabda pratyaksham and aindrika pratyaksham indriya pratyaksham then what is the difference between these uh, three we have already seen the difference between the three is indriya janya gnanam indriya pratyaksham shabda janya gnanam shabda dwara janya gnanam that gnanam born out of shabda is called shab shabda pratyaksham shabda pratyaksham similarly sakshi pratyaksham you cannot say generated by the sense organs are generated by shabda it is neither generated by shabda nor generated by sense organs it is only sakshi pratyaksham then for that shabda pratyaksham after indriya pratyaksham discussion he comes to sakshi pratyaksham what is sakshi pratyaksha gnanam he gave that uh, sukha dukha the experience emotions when we experience the emotions which are internal there is neither shabda or there neither shabda gnanam nor <coughs> sense organ sense object contact born knowledge therefore in sakshi uh, pratyaksham gnanam sukha dukha the your emotions are experienced your rag sukha dukha happiness and uh, uh, sadness they are experienced they are witnessed by witness consciousness principle sakshi bhasyam again further he divided this uh, <coughs> sakshi bhasyam pratyaksham is um, is of two types sakshi requires help needs the help of antakarana vritti for vyavaharika pratyaksha gnanam and sakshi needs the karana sharira vritti or avidya vritti to get the um, mithya gnanam or pratibhasika gnanam so that is was the last class i was discussing the very very subtle topic students are also felt very difficult also and they are sharing that it is very much chiseling our mind it is too tough to grasp yes it is tough only but for those who are interested those who want to learn they have to come to understand this there is no option because this is our own uh, thinking pattern we are talking it is not any new subject outside from me this subject what we are discussing talking nischala dasa talking is not any outside of me my own thoughts my own emotions how this mechanism is happening this is the beautiful study i am reading studying listening about myself my internal what is going on the witness consciousness principle gets the direct knowledge pratyaksha gnanam that direct knowledge sakshi pratyaksham it needs vritti na needs the help of vritti vrittya rudha sakshi that is the word used by nischala dasa vrutya rudha sakshi means what that sakshi which has taken the help of a vritti what type of vritti for vyavaharik pratyaksha gnanam it needs antakarana vritti what is the other name we have given to antakarana vritti sukshma sharira vritti here nischala dasa used antakarana vritti <coughs> 
we can say because antakaranam belongs to sukshma shariram therefore it can be called as sukshma sharira vritti <coughs> for vyavaharika pratyaksha gnanam for that what example we have taken in any example we can take vyavaharika gnanam ghata gnanam pata gnanam that and all sense organs born knowledge but here sakshi pratyaksha sukshma sharira vritti janya gnanam here we have to see that uh, internal thoughts internal emotions internal emotion sakshi pratyaksha sukshma sharira vritti or karana sharira vritti sukshma sharira vritti that is um, vyavaharika satyam whatever is vyavaharika satyam rope knowledge rope knowledge as a rope is vyavaharika satya gnana therefore there vrutta vrutta here vrutta varudha is there vrutta aarudha sukha vanvritti dukha vanvritti therefore prakashayati sakshi sakshi illumines reveals vyavaharik rajjugnanam is sakshi pratyaksham finally nishala dasa come to the senior student seek everything is sakshi pratyaksham only but initial stages only we talk all this mind sense organs etc because mind is functioning because of sakshi therefore finally sakshi pratyaksham only indirectly everything that is why here uh, sukshma sharira vritti and uh, karana sharira vritti dwara sarpa gnanam rajju sarpa gnanam is bhranti gnanam for that acharya gave one what example shukti rajata shukti gnanam is vyavaharika pratyaksha gnanam i see that uh, um shall as a shall vyavaharika pratyaksha gnana so sakshi needs the vritti to illumine that shall to illumine the shall then only shall knowledge comes shall knowledge is a pratyaksha gnana so sakshi is the witnesser witness sa consciousness alone reveals or illumines the shall vyavaharika gnanam pratyaksha gnanam then you see upon that what shell silver it appears like a silver for some people suppose it appears as shell silver that is pratibhasika gnanam or mithya gnanam how that mithya gnanam has taken place in that sakshi that sakshi pratyaksham it is the witness consciousness reveals reveals the silver shell silver not uh, silver shop you <laughs> know golden shop plus silver illa shell silver sakshi reveals or illumines through karana sharira vritti or avidya vritti therefore it is brahma gnanam mithya gnanam up to here we saw in the last class then the next stop topic we are going to enter that is brahma gnanam now that is our main topic talking about pratyaksha gnanam paroksha gnanam direct knowledge indirect knowledge then direct knowledge is of three types indriya shabda and sakshi pratyaksham after that again sakshi pratyaksham is of two types like that having said that what for this whole study in the author to he wants to drive us towards that um, brahma gnanam that is the idea brahma gnanam is the purpose of studying shastra now in the case of brahma gnanam what brahma gnanam here aham brahma asmi iti gnanam is called brahma gnanam i am brahman is called brahma gnanam 
So the thought is, uh, is it generated by sense organs or is it generated by uh, Shabda or is it generated by in the Sakshi witness consciousness? So this is the question now. Tattva Drishti, he has to give answer now. See Mahavakya Dwara, when Guru says Tatutvam Asi, Sishya has to claim that Aham Brahma Hasmi He Guru, what you have taught Mahavakya Tattvam Asi, I have understood in first person that is Aham Brahma Asmi. To a qualified student, not for all students, this is only for a qualified student Uttamadhikari. Here we are not uh, talking about any Satta Veda, but we are talking about uh, this is what Pratyaksha Jnanam. Brahma Jnanam is a Pratyaksha Jnanam or Paroksha Jnanam. It cannot be Paroksha Jnanam, it is Pratyaksha Jnanam. That is what Shastra says. It is direct knowledge. It is Aparoksha Jnanam. If it is a direct knowledge, if it is Pratyaksha Jnanam, what type of Pratyaksha Jnanam? Aham Brahma Asmi Iti Jnanam, I am Brahman, knowledge, I am not the Shriratrayam, I am not uh, Panchakoshas, I am not Avasthatrayam, I am the Sakshi of Avasthatrayam, I am the Sakshi of uh, Panchakoshas, I am the Sakshi of Shriratrayam. That knowledge is uh, Aham Brahma Asmi knowledge is, comes under Aparoksha Jnanam, Pratyaksha Jnanam. Aparoksha is called Pratyaksha Jnanam. If it is Pratyaksha Jnanam, what type of Pratyaksha Jnanam we have to arrive at? It is Shabda Pratyaksham. It is not Indriya Janyam. It is not Sakshi Pratyaksham. It is only Shabda Pratyaksham. What Shabda? Mahavakya. Tatutvam Asi Mahavakya. Dwara, Guru Upadesha Dwara, Sishya, disciple and gets the Aparoksha Jnanam. Shabda Pratyaksham. That will enter now topic number 225. This is the main topic we have to look into, very, very important topic. Brahma Jnanasya Pratyakshotvopapattihi Tattva Drishtehe Veda Brahma Nivrittishya Vahya Ghatadhibhi Saha Antakarana Vrittehe Sambandho Netradi Indriya Dwara Jayataiti Ghatadayona Sakshi Vasya. So, three steps he is going to talk here. What are all not Sakshi Vasya? What are all not Indriya Vasya? And what are all sen shabda not shabda bhasya what is shabda bha shab shabda pratyaksham that he is going to reveal now step number one step number two step number three now this is uh, um, about uh, pratyaksha jnanam um, bah first let us see the heading okay brahma jnanasya Pratyakshatva Upapatti Pratyaksha Upapatti means Pratyaksha Jnanam. Upapatti means Jnanam. Brahma Jnanam comes under Pratyaksha Jnanam. This is the conclusion. This is the Pratigna like. Pratigna. For what purpose, for whose purpose Acharya is talking this? Um, this is um, Tattva Drishtehe Bheda Brahma niv Nivrittischa. By this answer, Acharya is going to establish Brahma Jnanam is, Brahma Jnanam comes under Pratyaksha Jnanam, is one 
uh, one pratigna. Second pratigna is Tattva Drishti has got a lot of doubts. Aham Brahmasmi Jnanam cannot come under Pratyaksha Jnanam. He concluded and he argued and he gave lot of lecture to his guru also. Therefore, Tattva Drishti he Bheda Pravritti he Bheda Brahma. So, Bheda means um, there is a lot of uh, um, difference is there in Pratyaksha Jnanam and Paroksha Jnanam and uh, Pratyaksha Jnanam, Brahma Jnanam also not possible. That Brahma is there in his mind. Nivritti he, to remove that Brahma delusion in the, from the mind of Tattva Drishti, the Uttama Adhikari. Uttama Adhikari itself himself has got this much and what to talk of other Adhikaris. Hmm? So, Tattva Drishti is the student here, Uttama Adhikari, in this uh, um, Vichara Sagara. So, Brahma Nivritti, delusion removal for the sake of his uh, delusion, elimination, Nishchala Dasa is going to answer. What are those steps? Um, let us see the, uh, this is the second step actually, Ghatadhibhihi. Saha Antah Karana Vrittehe. We can take, um, let, let us take any in his order only. But Swami he takes, this is a second step. Next uh, three lines only, second step, first step like that Swami has taken. I am taking the first um, one, that is Bahya Ghatadi Bihi. Saha Antah Karana Vrittehe. Sambandhaha. What is uh, um, Indriya Janya Gnanam Pratyaksha Gnanam Ghatadayaha Na Sakshi Bhasyaha. When you get Indriya Janya Gnanam, when you look at the pot, Ghatadibihi, Ghata, cloth or pata or book or pen, anything, Antakkarana Vrittehe Saha. Saha antah karana vrittehe means it has, there is an antah karana vritti, jnana vritti and vishaya vritti. Two are required for knowledge. Ex external object is required, internal uh, knowledge thought is required. Jnana vritti, knowledge of uh, thought knowledge and thought knowledge in the sense, ghata jnana vritti. Ghata vritti, ghata jnana vritti. Pata vritti, pata jnana vritti. Pot knowledge, pot thought and pot knowledge thought. I hope I am not confusing you. Pot thought and pot thought knowledge. Once pot thought comes only, pot thought knowledge will come. Pot knowledge will come. That is also a thought. What knowledge is also a thought, it is also a vritti jnana. Therefore, antakkarana vrittehe sambandhaha. Ghatta, outside pot and inside antakkarana vritti. There is a contact. We know this. How it has uh, um, generated? Netra indriya dwara. I saw the pot and I look at the pot. I got the knowledge of the pot. So, Netra Indriya Sambandha Dwar. Netra means eyes, Netra Indriyam, sense organ, eye, Dwara, Jayate. Sambandha Dwara, Jayate. Antakkarana Vritti and Netra Sambandha. So, Antakkarana Vritti has to go through the eyes and pervade the pot and you get the pot knowledge and pot thought pot knowledge and pot uh, thought and pot knowledge jnana vritti and vishaya vritti jayati iti ghatadayaha all these uh, ghatapatadi knowledge is aindrikam aindriya janya jnanam or indriya janya jnanam natu sakshi bhasya it is not uh, um, sakshi bhasya it is not the knowledge generated uh, uh, in the Sakshi, it is not revealed by Sakshi or illumined by Sakshi. In the Sakshi, we cannot say it is not generated um, by 
um, Sakshi, it's not uh, illumined by Sakshi, it is not revealed by Sakshi. You can supply Natu Shabda Na Shabda Pratyaksha. You can supply that also. Pot knowledge is not uh, born out of uh, Shabda. That also you can supply Na Shabda Pratyaksha Bhavati. After supplying that, one step is over. One step is over minutes what? Pot knowledge is not born, not uh, illumined by Sakshi, nor it has uh, generated by Shabda. That is Indriya Janya Gnana. We have already seen this. But he is, uh, uh, everything he has to present, how Pratyaksh Brahma Gnanam comes, you know, have to see. Then, Antakarana Vrittir Yada Brahmakara Bhavati Tadasas Vrittihina Bahirgachati Kintu Sherirasya Antareha Antareva Vartate Taya Vrittyasaha Brahmanaha Sambandhosti Tasmat Brahma Gnanam api Sukha Dukha Di Gnanam Iva Pratyaksha Gnanam Bhavati This is another step. What is uh, Brahma Gnanam? Brahma Gnanam, now he is establishing Brahma Gnanam is Pratyaksha Gnanam. Just like uh, uh, any other Pratyaksha Gnanam, Brahma Gnanam is also Pratyaksha Gnanam only. But here, Antakkarana Vritti, what is the uh, whole process, process of Brahma Gnanam, how it happens, how it happens, uh, Antakkarana Vritti, when the thought from the mind, Brahmakara Bhavati, when it gets the shape of Brahman, it becomes the Brahmakara means Brahman thought. Antakkarana Vritti gets the shape of Brahmakara means gets the shape of Brahman. Brahmakara Bhavati. Then, Tada, at that time, Savritti hi. Savritti hi means Brahmakara Vritti. Hi. That um, Brahman. Uh, uh, thought which is in the form of Brahma Vishaya. Brahma Akara. Brahma Akara me Ilya Swamini. Brahma Akara. How can you say it? Figuratively. There is no Akara for Brahman. There is no form. But here the Vritti gets the shape of Brahman. Let us see what he is going to say. Vritti hi na bahir gachati. That is the important point for us. When the thought which raised in the mind, Antakkaranam, that thought gets the form of Brahman, Brahmakara Bhavati, without going outside. Bahihi na gachati. Murtihi na bahir gachati. Like Nana Chidra Ghatovadara Stitamaha, like that thought, this. Uh, Brahmakara vritti doesn't go out. Like ghata sek, ghata knowledge sek, pot knowledge sek, uh, no, the thought went outside and ghata akara it became. Then pata akara, book akara. But here, in the case of Brahmakara vritti, this thought is not going outside. Na bahir gachati, kintu, moreover, Sirirasya antaha eva vartate. This Brahmakara vritti, it is remaining in the shariram itself. Sirirasya antaha eva. In the shariram itself it remains. Vartate. Taya vritya. With that Brahmakara vritti which is remaining in the inside, internal, inside itself without going outside. Taya vritya. Saha, with that vritti, Brahmanaha, Sambandaha, Asti. There is Sambandha. Because there must be contact for Pratyaksha Gnana. So that Antakkarana vritti and Brahman inside Sakshi, 
becomes one because sakshi is is nothing but brahman so that uh, brahman um, saha pram brahmanaha sambandho asti the santakkarana vritti has got a connection with that brahman which is who is inside huh? um which is inside available um you no know, in upanishad also we saw that is uh, uh, in the guha hridaya guha it is available therefore brahmana ha sambandha asti therefore what tasmat therefore brahma gnanam api brahma knowledge also sukha dukha adi gnanam iv like uh, that knowledge about pleasure and pain favorable and unfavorable unfavorable sukha dukha adi gnanam iv that is why he explained so much about sukha dukha adi gnanam previously to compare this brahma gnanam also inside like like what i have the knowledge of my happiness which is internal i have the knowledge of my sadness which is internal like that sukha dukha adi gnanam iva pratyaksha gnanam bhavati so my happiness knowledge is my direct knowledge i am happy who knows i only know i am unhappy also who knows i am alone i am alone knowing therefore direct knowledge pratyaksha gnana like that this brahma gnanam also pratyaksha gnanam bhavati this is another step second step then third step he is taking parantu sukha dukha kara vrittishu bahya sadhana apeksha nasti tasmat sukha dukha daya sakshi bhasya this is third step okay uh, what is the third step parantu but sukha dukh what is the difference between uh, brahma gnanam and uh, sukha gnanam dukha gnanam both are internal both are vritti sar not going outside then brahma gnanam and sukha gnanam and dukha gnanam what is the difference the difference is this sukha kara dukha kara vrittishu when i get that um, i am happy i am unhappy the thought gets the sukha kara vritti dukha kara vrittishu in these two vrittis bahya sadhana apeksha nasti yes they don't have external uh, support they don't have any sense organ support there is no sen- uh, object sukha object is not there outside and dukha object is also not there it is only internal i am remembering that uh, apeksha nasti tasmat therefore sukha dukha da sukha dukha da yaha all my sukha and dukha are that knowledge happiness knowledge and happiness thought and uh, sad thought but i know that i have gnanam they are all illumined by sakshi bhasya sakshi bhasya then what then goes to fourth step brahmakara brahmakara antakarana vrittau tu guru mukha shruta vedanta vakyasya shrotrendriya sambandha roopa bahya sadhanam apekshate tasmat brahmana sakshi bhasyam this is the fourth step now he is differentiating the sukha vritti and dukha vritti and brahma gnana vritti sukham gnanam dukha gnana and brahma gnana what is the difference uh, the difference is there the difference is sukha gnanam dukha gnanam they are illumined by revealed by sakshi witness consciousness principle whereas without external support whereas brahma gnanam requires support 
Brahmagnanam is not uh, internal uh, Sakshi Vasyam, it requires uh, Shabdam. Bahya uh, Brahmakara Vritta uh, Brahmakara Antakarana Vritta with regard to the Vritti internal thought of Brahmakara, the thought formed, thought which has taken that Brahman shape. Brahmakara Urtishu. What happened there? Guru Mukha Shruta Vedanta Vakyasya. <coughs> Vedanta Vakya, Mahavakya, Tattvamasi. <coughs> How that Sushya received that? Through Guru, Guru Mukha. He heard. Shruta means heard from where? From Guru's mouth. Mukha means here mouth. From Guru's mouth he has received, heard that uh, Mahavakya, Tattvamasi, Tattvamasi, Tattvamasi. You know, nine times in uh, Chandogya. Um, then uh, Ayamatma Brahma Mandukya. <coughs> and here Guru is telling, there Ayamatma Brahma Upanishad says, Pragnanam Brahma Upanishad says, but Tattvamasi Mahavakya also is not Upanishad mentioned, it is said by Guru. You are that, my dear Sishya, you are that. Then Aham Brahmasmi said by Sishya. See the difference between four Mahavakyas. Uh, Pragnanam Brahma of Aitareya Upanishad of Rigveda is given by the Upanishad. Then uh, last Upanishad, last Adharvana Veda, last fourth Veda, and its um, its Upanishad, Adharvana Veda Upanishad is Mandukya Upanishad, Ayamatma Brahma Mahavakyam is given by Upanishad. Then in between these two Veda, Upanishads are there. What Vedas are there? What are they? Yajur Veda and Sama Veda. <coughs> So, Yajurvedya Upanishad, Taitriya Upanishad, or we can take here Yajurvedya Upanishad, Shukla Yajurvedya Upanishad, Brahadaranya Upanishad, Aham Brahma Asmi Mahavakyam, and Samavedya Upanishad, Tattam Chandogya Upanishad, Mahavakyam, Tattvamasi. These two are very unique, very, very unique. I never mentioned this point, today only I am telling. In between these uh, uh, two, uh, that is Rigveda and Adharvana Veda, between these two, two Vedas are there. Yajur Veda, of course, you know, Shukla Yajur Veda and Krishna Yajur Veda is there. But Shukla Yajur Veda, uh, Brihadaranyako Upanishad, Mahavakya, Hamramas. And uh, um, Sama Veda, Sama Veda Sambandha Upanishad, Chandogya Upanishad, Tattvamasi Mahavakya. Now, Tattvamasi Mahavakyam is given by the Guru. That is why here Guru Mukha, Guru Mukhat, Guru Mukhat Shruta from the Guru's mouth. Shruta Vedanta Vakyasya Tattvamasi Iti Vakyasya Shrotra Indriya Sambandha Rupa Bahya Sadhana Mapikshate. Here the Sishya has to sit and listen. If not uh, offline class, at least online class. If uh, not online, offline. So whatever, you either offline class or online class, you, it is your job. You have to, your sense organ, ear has to come in contact. Shrotra Indriya Sambandha Rupa. So Shrotra Indriya is there. You have to make use of your Shrotra Indriya ear. Here means that uh, uh, you are uh, Shabda Jnanam, Srotra Indriyam, one of the sense organs of knowledge. You have to Indriya, Sambandha, contact, Rupa, Bahya Sadhana, Mavikshati. Srotra Indriyam has to contact what? Shabdam. What is the job of Srotra Indriyam? It has to contact external sound. 
it has to contact with sambandha apek apekshate it needs it requires sadhana a means external sadhana is required external means is required for this shrotra indriyam to listen from the guru so my shrotra indriyam needs what guru vakyam and the guru vakyam apekshate tasmat brahma न साक्षी भाष्यम देर फॉर इट इज नाट इंटर्नल इट इज एक्सटर्नल इट इज नाट इंद्रियजन्यम इट इज नाट इंद्रिय विषयजन्यम प्रत्यक्ष वाट ब्रह्म ज्ञान इट इज नाट साक्षी प्रत्यक्ष पारिशेष न्याय वाट इज लेफ्ट औट शाब्दजन्य ज्ञान देर फोर थ्रू शाब्दजन्य ज्ञान प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान जायते वट इज शाब्द हियर दट तस्मा ब्रह्म न साक्षी भाष्यम दट ही वॉन्ट टू एस्टाब्लिश हि हेज एस्टाब्लिश इट इज नाट इंद्रियजन्यम इट इज नाट साक्षी भाष्यम इट इज नाट ऐंद्रिक इट इज नाट साक्षी भाष्यम साक्षी प्रत्यक्ष नारींद्रिय प्रत्यक्ष then it is only shabda pratyaksham so this is his presentation four steps beautifully he has given i hope you have understood itham yatra vishayena sah vrittihi sambaddha bhavati tatra pratyaksha gnanam bhavati aham brahma asmi iti vrittehe vishayena brahmana sah संबंध सत्वाद ब्रह्म ज्ञान प्रत्यक्ष भविमर्हती ब्रह्म ज्ञान प्रत्यक्ष भविमर्हति वाट फॉर वी आर आल स्टडिंग दिस शास्त्र फ्रॉम सो मेनी इयर्स अंटैरिंगली यू आर आलो लिजनिंग मै वॉइस फ्रॉम मेनी 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 इयर्स विथ सो मच इंट्रस्ट फैनली फॉर वाट पर्पस् ब्रह्मज्ञान ब्रह्मज्ञान अलोन इज मोक्ष ब्रह्मज्ञान अलोन गिवस फ्रीडम फ्रम सारो दीर् फोर ईगर्ली वी आर् वेटिंग फॉर् दिस ब्रह्मज्ञान ईगर्ली यू आर् आल ईगर्ली वेटिंग फॉर् दिस ब्रह्मज्ञान हौ दिस ब्रह्मज्ञान हापेन इट ईज प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान ब्रह्मज्ञान ईज डैरेक्ट नॉलेज That direct knowledge is also not इंद्रिय प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान Direct knowledge is not born out of इंद्रिय विषय संबंध It is not born out of internal साक्षी That is not साक्षी प्रत्यक्ष It is not revealed by साक्षी What? ब्रह्म ज्ञान Like सुख दुख Internal सुख दुख Revealed by साक्षी It's not like that Then what? it has uh, to go out na what <coughs> shabda 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 sh this urut sense organ of sound shrotra indriyam has to go out if it goes out what is its vishaya it needs its vishaya its vishaya is here regarding to brahma gnana with regard to brahma gnana In the context of Brahma Gnanam, Shrotra Indriya Vishaya is Mahavakya Shabdam. Are you happy now? Shrotra Indriya Vishaya requires an object outside. That Shabda is required. It's a Vishaya. What is that Vishaya? Mahavakya Shabda, which is talking about Brahman. is a vishaya tat tvam asi iti mahavakya is the shabda vishaya uttered by the guru that shabda enters the ears of the shishya so what happened you put srotra indriyam and guru mahavakya what vakya tat tvam asi you are that brahman that both have come in contact that is what he says here तत्र प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञान इट इज डायरेक्ट नॉलेज व्हाट 
अहम ब्रह्मा अस्मी माय गुरु सेड तत्त्वम असी यू आर ब्रह्मन यू आर ब्रह्मन यू आर दैट यू आर दैट यू आर दैट एंड एंड वे सा व्हाट इज दैट प्रोनाउन दैट प्रोनाउन वे सा इन उपनिषद सत्यम ज्ञान मनंतम ब्रह्मा दैट तत्त्वम सत्यम ज्ञान मनंतम ब्रह्मा इज यू आर यू आर एंड सिस्या हैज टू से understand and say hmm? yes aham tvam guru said madhyama purusha ekavachanam tvam shishya has to say aham pradama purusha ekavachanam aham brahma asmi asmi is pradama purusha ekavachanam asi is tat tvam because it is uh, madhyama purusha it is asi is in madhyama purusha tvam is also is relating to the asi asmi is relating to the aham aham asmi tvam asi tvam asi is said by guru shishya says aham asmi aham asmi and the guru used the pronoun tat tvam asi guru shishya says tat means he has understood tat brahma अहमस्मि अहमस्मि ब्रह्मा अहमस्मि अहम ब्रह्मा अस्मि इति वृत्ते हे दिस इज वृत्ति ज्ञान शाब्द जन्य वृत्ति ज्ञान विषयेण ब्रह्मण व्हाट इज द विषय हियर विषय फॉर शब्द स्वर्त इंद्रियम विषय इज ब्रह्मन तत् प्रोनाउन इज इक्वल टू ब्रह्मन Brahman is the Vishaya. Therefore, it is a Shotra Indriya Dwara that thought went out and is pervaded that Tatu Mahavakya pronoun understood the Brahman takes the Brahmakara. Brahmakara. And what happens since that Brahman is all pervading everywhere, it is all pervading also, then it pervades that uh, Sakshi. Since it is all pervading, it is all pervading also. Yo Veda Nihitam Guhayam Paramevyoman So Oshnute Sarvan Kama Ansaha I am the substratum of this universe. I am the Sakshi. Witness consciousness is Brahman. Since it is all pervading, it is inside me also. Not only inside me, it is me alone. Awareness. I, the awareness principle, consciousness principle, who is all pervading. When it is all pervading, it is called Brahman. When it is all pervading, all in Tamil all. Uh, all pervading person inside it is pervading it is called sakshi so sakshi and brahman there is no difference only nama bhedaha natu vastu bhedaha iti vritti he vishayena aham brahma asmi vritti raised in the mind of the student that vritti vishayena brahmana because it has associated with the guru's mahavakya tatu tvamasi that he has understood it is brahman that brahman happens to be myself sambandhatva satvat brahm sambandha satvat there is a sambandha contact there is a contact of shrotra indriya janya vritti dwara it went and pervades outside and comes back and recognize here itself inside there is no outside inside later i am only outside as brahman i am only inside as sakshi i am brahman outside i am sakshi inside as sakshi inside as brahman outside there is no out and in dakshinatah uttaratah purastat adhastat urdhvam and paschat everywhere i am i am i am i am in this body in all bodies in everybody in every body i am but a nice teaching vishayena brahmana saha vritti gnana 
अहम ब्रह्मास्मि इति वृत्ति ज्ञानम् सह संबंध सत्वा सिंस देर इज ए कांटेक्ट बिटवीन महावाक्या अन्न द वृत्ति इन फ्रॉम अंतकरण वृत्ति ब्रह्मज्ञानम् प्रचक्षम भवितुम् अर्हति ब्रह्मज्ञानम् सेल्फ नॉलेज अबाउट ब्रह्मन इट कैन बी डिजर्व टू बी प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञानम् डिजर्व टू बी डायरेक्ट नॉलेज डिजर्व टू बी अपरोक्ष ज्ञानम् प्रत्यक्ष ज्ञानम् इज़ इक्वल टू अपरोक्ष ज्ञानम् अपरोक्ष ज्ञानम् इज़ इक्वल टू डायरेक्ट नॉलेज Okay, this is about Brahma Jnana. This is the fifth step. We can take it as conclusion, fifth step. So, Brahma Jnana, what is the conclusion? Brahma Jnana is a Shabda Janya Jnana. Shabda or Shabda Janya Tvata. Brahma Jnana Pratyaksha Vritti Janya Tvata. Pratyaksha Pratyaksha Vritti Janya Tvata. I will repeat once again. Okay, fifth step. Brahma Jnanam, Brahman knowledge. Knowledge about Brahman. Shabda, Shabda Janyatvad. It is born out of Shabdam Mahavakyam. Therefore, Brahma Jnanam Pratyaksha Jnanam Bhavitum Arahati. Therefore, it is called direct knowledge. <coughs> Brahman knowledge is a direct knowledge. Knowledge. Why? Vritti Janyatva. It is born out of a Vritti thought. Brahma Gnanam is also a thought. That is why we call it as Akhandakara Vritti. Indivisible consciousness I am. I am not outside alone. I am not inside alone. I am outside inside also. I am Really speaking, I am not <coughs> inside or outside. Everything is in me. Thought space is in pot or outside. Space is in the pot or outside. Pot is in the space. Space is not in the pot. Apply this principle here. Space is in the pot. Space is outside the pot. Is correct. Space is in the pot is correct. Or pot is in the space is correct. Tell me. Space is in the pot is correct. Or space is outside the pot. If you say inside the pot also wrong. Outside pot also space is outside the pot also says wrong. What is the right answer? Correct answer. The correct answer is pot, uh, space is neither in the pot nor outside the pot. Really speaking, pot is in the space. Understand? Atma Brahman is uh, inside also it is there, outside also there. It is only preliminary teaching. Atma is all pervading, all pervading, only for teaching purpose we say. Atma is all pervading, everywhere it is there. Therefore, it is inside also. It is not correct expression. What is correct expression? There is no inside and outside of the body. Really speaking, body is in consciousness. All bodies are in consciousness. Consciousness is not inside the body and outside the body. Consciousness is not inside the body or outside the body. Inside the body is also correct only from one standpoint. Outside the body is also correct but it is only for beginners. You are all advanced Vicharasagara students. For your sake what Nisradasa want to communicate? Don't say Atma Brahman is inside the body and outside the body also. Don't say like that. Come and elevate yourself to the higher teaching. In consciousness, all bodies are there. 
in space all earth and waves are there in space every object is there like that in atma i the brahman in me mai eva sakalam jatam mai sarvam pratishthitam mai sarvam layam yati from me alone everything arises because of me alone everything is sustained into me alone everything dissolves that is called brahma gnanam pratyaksha gnanam vishaya vivrutti janyatvat sambandha sattvat means brahmana sah sambandha sattvat means <coughs> brahma aakara vritti janyatvat brahma gnanam pratyaksha gnanam direct knowledge there is no indirect knowledge aham brahma asmi the direct knowledge i am brahman there is no doubt in that not only that i cannot be other than brahman at any time at any period of time fortunately i am ever brahman alone okay next uh, he is going to give another introducing another topic like simple thing here um, little uh, diversion like yatra dhuma darshane na vannignanam jayate tatra dhuma gnanam pratyaksham vannignanam tu na pratyaksham chakshurdwara nirgatantakkarana vrittehi ಧೂಮೇನ ಸಂಬಂಧೋ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಅತಃ ಧೂಮ ಧೂಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಮಿತ್ಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ಅನಂತರ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಯತ್ರ ವೇರ್ ಎವರ್ ವೇರ್ ಎವರ್ ಧೂಮ ದರ್ಶನೇನ ಬೈ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ಧೂಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ದರ್ಶನೇನ ವೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ವನ್ನಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಜಾಯತೆ ಓ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಯರ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಸೀ ದ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ಯು ಇನ್ಫರ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಫಯರ್ ಫಯರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಜಾಯತೆ ತತ್ರ ಧೂಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಧೂಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ವನ್ನಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತು ಫಯರ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಈಸ್ ನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಯರ್ ಫಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೇನ್ ಅದರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೇನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಯರ್ ಚಕ್ಷುದ್ವಾರ ನಿರ್ಗತ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಧೂಮೇನ ಸಹ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಹೌ ಧೂಮ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ಚಕ್ಷು ದ್ವಾರ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಐಸ್ ನಿರ್ಗತ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಥಾಟ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಧೂಮೇನ ಸಹ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಧೂಮಾಕಾರ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಫೈರ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಫೈರ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಧೂಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ more we will see in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om